So for everybody new, what's up guys? My name is Matt. I like to do flips. I like to work out. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a future video. So for all you guys that have seen my recent videos, you know that I've been trying to learn these cork swing through corks, just swing moves in general. And uh, guess what? I'm scared. I don't know exactly what it is because you guys have seen me do swing throughs like multiple times, especially if you follow me on Instagram. Link in description. Do you see that I post like pretty much every swing through that I land? <laughs> which is only like eight. But anyways, I've definitely done them before I can do them. I'm just really scared of actually committing to the swing. But once I do it, then it feels super easy. And I'm like, oh wow, I was just being a little So anyways guys, today we are out here. We're trying to land more swing throughs, trying to get over that mental block, just confronting my fear about committing swing moves. So I think this is something a lot of people can relate to, not necessarily just for swings, but just flips in general. They are really scary sometimes, especially when you're learning new stuff. And it just takes like a special mindset to just get over that initial hurdle. So I hope this can help inspire you guys today. So we're just gonna start off with some regular flips, try and work our way into our first gainer, swing through gainer, and see how that goes from there. So let's get into it. Chaos and my mind, constant deja vu. But every time, it comes right to you. Whoa, I'm still falling. gonna happen today guys god I don't know why I'm getting so nervous right now I just I just like can't throw it for some reason my swings are clean too like I have good clearance I am rebounding really tall like it's so frustrating maybe I'll catch you guys tomorrow blacking out afraid just fading day by day I'm reaching out for someone who can take away the pain I feel the things I haven't done at all I've lost my way but how I felt I can't recall guys so uh just gotta be completely honest here i never ended up landing a swing through so uh this wasn't actually footage from multiple days spanning across about a week so this has actually been a super super frustrating like two weeks for me so if you guys follow me on instagram then you've probably seen me mention it in my stories but i'm gonna overlay some footage here so you can see exactly what i'm talking about but basically i kind of forgot how to do flips <laughs> almost in like how to how to twist, how to swing, just like literally everything. So some of you guys might be familiar with the term aerial disorientations. It's just like the twisties is more commonly what it's called. It's just like kind of forgetting where you are in space. It kind of takes you back to when you're first learning how to do flips and you just have no idea where anything is or what you're doing. That's kind of how I started to feel. So it was only after I threw my first ever cork swing attempts. After that point, 
I started like not knowing where anything was. And so if you guys watched that video, then you saw that even though I was trying to do a cork swing through cork, what I actually sent was a cork swing through double cork because I didn't understand how many twists to. I mean, it was a new setup. I didn't know what was going on. So I just like threw it as hard as I could and it ended up being almost two twists. And after that, things just went downhill super quick. So, I mean, you guys saw from that clip earlier today, I almost just sent a J-step double corkscrew totally by accident. I was only meaning to do a single cork. It got to the point where it was so bad, guys, over the last week or so, I couldn't even do a corkscrew, right? A corkscrew, probably my signature trick, the thing that I feel the most comfortable with, one of my like best tricks that I post on Instagram, they get like the most views, like corkscrews are my jam, and I couldn't even do it. So these clips right here, the first one was an under-rotated corkscrew. Like, I don't even remember the last time that I under-rotated a corkscrew. I've thrown these things on concrete. I've thrown them, like, on asphalt with shoes, without shoes. Like, literally everything, and they feel so clean. And now I, I couldn't even get it around. And then the other clip right here, this was almost a double corkscrew. And I've never actually sent a double corkscrew on ground. But this is what I'm talking about. That's how bad my disorientation was getting. I couldn't throw that. I even tried doing a flash kick. So even without twisting, and I, I still was so uncoordinated. Like I felt like I was just learning how to do this move. It was the worst feeling ever. So I've had a really rough like two weeks of tricking, and this is finally starting to come back to me now. Obviously, swings are not back. So this video was more supposed to be about like getting over fear, but as the week or two went on, it just morphed into me dealing with my own like disorientation. So uh, I definitely do want to revisit the swings. I haven't landed one in probably two, maybe three weeks now, honestly. It's been a long time since I've landed a swing trick and I really wanna get these swings on lock by the end of like fall at the latest because I wanna have them really good before the snow hits. I wanna get my cork swing through cork too. I also would like to try sending cork swing through double cork comfortably. I do wanna try J-step Double cork, which is actually going to be a video coming really soon, so make sure you keep your eyes out for that. So I apologize if the video is not super exciting, but uh, yeah, it's been a rough couple weeks for me guys, and school starting and just all sorts of crazy stuff, so if you like the video, be sure to give it a like, hit that subscribe button if you're new, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.